they okay, wait. Ah. had the treasure chamber. They had a one chest there, and it was Susan's. And it was open. And you had to find like Peter's pocket knife and a little gold statue of Aslan. Hope everyone can see these pictures. I don't know if I get it then. <laughs> Shown. Oh, wait. And they had Truffle Hunter's house. Right here. And then they also had Miraz's throne. And then they had the various creatures like that a mentor and then they had a model of Miraz's castle. I don't know what it looks like, it looks like that. Oh, they also had a catapult and there was a guy throwing stone balls, but they're really foam. Foam ball. It's pretty funny. And then let's see. Oh. They had a lot of Miraz's armor. Oh, that's not ready. Uh, and then they had um, so Paspian's armor and Gozelle's they had these outfits right here for the Pevensies and Caspian hopefully hopefully you know what it looks like by now in the movie but if you don't They had all the armor and the swords and they had an interview with Richard Taylor. He said his favorite one was the uh, shield he made from Miraz. And you actually were able to pull out one of Peter's swords and kind of hold it. That was pretty cool. They had um, Trumpkin's costume, which I can't find right now. And they had Nickerbrick's costume. And then they had, oh, they had statues of centaurs, kind of like they did in the first film, where they have all their swords drawn out and you walk down. And then a little box where all the all four crowns for the Pevensies and on the side was Caspian's coronation outfit and then they had a TV and there's Aslan he says once a king or queen of Narnia always the king or queen of Narnia and then the rowers and you go into another room with a giant screen in it and it shows you clips from the first film and second film and then it shows you a picture from the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. It was very exciting. And I think it was a concept art. I almost died. And they said, and the journey continues, Voyage of the Dawn Treader. So. And then, of course, there was a gift shop. There was all kinds of things in the gift shop. I bought some stuff. They had like books, shirts, action figures, magnets, statues. You name it, they, they had it, they had a little notebook, they had DVDs, they had CDs, they had posters, so I'm sure what I got. Mm. Ah. Let's see, I got a shirt, it's a really cool shirt. I'm not wearing it right now, but ta da! That was the poster from Vince Caspian on it. It's 
white shirt. And then a mug. I got a mug. With Aslan on it. That's the only one they had. Well, actually, one said, um, everything you knew is about to change. And then I got a magnet. Same picture as the shirt. Got a, one of those notebooks with a pen. Yay, it's Aslan! And I got a poster. It's not a very big poster. But it will work for my room because I don't have room in my room. If you can't tell, there's a lot of Star Wars and Lord and stuff. Everywhere. Yep, that was Ben Barnes' forehead, by the way. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a double sided poster. I forgot to say that. Here's the front. It's a poster. It says Chronicles of Narnia, the exhibition. Come on back. It's a Captain Narnia! That was it. It was a really cool exhibit and if it ever gets to your country, city, wherever you live, go check it out. It was really cool. And I know there probably are going to have it in other cities besides Phoenix. Don't worry about that. Well, that's it. So I'm ending off. If you have any questions about the exhibit, please feel free to ask. Sorry this video is really long. <laughs>